Yo, what's up guys, it's Handy Design. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make rips in a shirt or a jersey that looks like it's revealing another shirt or jersey. And this can be really good for people going into college or college players getting recruited to the NFL or trading schools or whatever. You can reveal their old school. And yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Before this video actually starts, I wanna give a big thank you to my patrons. If you don't know, I did start a Patreon where you can get all of my favorite files, assets, brushes, anything like that, and it's only $5. I'd appreciate it if you guys checked it out, but let's get into the video. So the first thing we're going to want to do is find a picture of our player in the NFL or whatever their current team is. So we have Bryce Young right here, obviously on the Carolina Panthers, and his old college, we have Alabama. And you want to find a similar pose. It's easiest if you find a similar pose, you don't have to, but it's easiest. So you can see I found this pose right here of him from Alabama. The jersey looks very similar, pants, everything looks very similar. So this is what we're going to use for this one. The next thing I found was these claw marks. This was just a PNG, I just looked up claw marks on Google and this is just what I found. Um, I think this would look really cool if we sort of make it look like it's ripping onto his jersey, sort of like a panther or something. So what we're going to do is uh, put our college player or our older player on right here, just make him visible. The next thing, we're going to duplicate it, control J, and let's just hide the bottom one. Control click on our claw marks right here, and then mask. And if we hide these claw marks, you can see we just have our jersey right here next thing i want to do for this one personally is line up this nine with the carolina's nine so i'm just going to rotate a little bit just moving it around just sort of want it to line up there we go we have this right here right now the next thing i'm going to want to do is click on this part of our mask of our rips I'm going to turn my hardness all the way up on my brush. I'm going to click on black over here, flow at 100. And I want to just erase all of this off of the collar. So all the collar over here on these sleeves, like right here, I'm just going to erase all of this and I'm going to leave it only on the jersey. So this is what we have right now after erasing it off of our blues and our collars and stuff. The next thing we're going to do is create an adjustment, levels, right above our rips. Turn down our levels, pretty dark. Right click, create clipping mask, and then press Control i Next, turn down your hardness on your brush and click white over here. So now if we paint in, you can see it's going to make it black. Next, turn on your flow to about eight. Once you do that, you can make your brush smaller. And all the edges, sort of just like adding a drop shadow, I just think you have more control. You're just gonna wanna paint in just like this. Just like this, sort of give this uh, rip some depth. You can see after our levels right here how it looks. It looks a lot better. Next, we're going to go right above our Carolina player. Adjustments, levels. We're going to turn down our level, levels to pretty dark again. Create a clipping mask and press Control I. Your brush settings should be the same. The next thing we're going to do is sort of make our brush smaller and go around just these edges right here. A little bit spaced out from our rips just like this so it looks like uh, it's sort of affecting the jersey you can even come up here and make this a little bit darker We're going to only do this for the bottom. 
So we want the bottom to look like it's sort of being pushed out. But we're going to leave the top as is. Since we have those rips in our shirt right now, the next thing we'll focus on is the iconic Alabama helmet. We'll sort of change that up. So what we're going to want to do is add a layer above our duplicate that we made. This is what we're going to be using. I know this quality is pretty bad on this, but just bear with me. We're going to just make any shape we want, really, with our, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me go back for a second. So you're gonna click on your college layer. You're gonna add a new layer right above it. So add a new layer. Polygonal lasso tool right here. And right now, I know the number nine on this logo is very iconic. So I'm gonna cut that out right now. So once we cut that out, whatever shape we like, now we're just gonna Control J, and all we have is just this little piece right here. This is number nine. Next, we can fit it onto our helmet wherever we would like it to go. I'll put it about right there. You can see after that, this is face mask, and it's on not on the edge, right? So what we're going to actually do is lower our opacity. Just like this so you can see through it. Create a layer mask right here. Brush, hardness all the way up, flow all the way up, and make sure we're on black. So what we can do is come in here on this face mask and things that are going to be over the um, logo, we're going to go ahead and erase. It's so just like all these face mask elements and all this, we're going to go ahead and erase it. Okay, so you can see what we have right here. I'm actually going to go ahead and fix out this just because I don't like how it looks right now. I'm going to just do that. And then around this edge, what we can actually do is control click our Bryce Young. Make sure on this part of the mask, press L, select inverse, B, and we can just erase that part right there. So we're blended in. And then the same story as before with the levels. That's what we're going to go ahead and do right now gonna add our levels above make it darker clipping mask control I hardness down flow about eight white brush and we're gonna paint on these outsides and there we go guys this is gonna be it for this tutorial uh, you can imagine it's the same story for the pants the shoes um, everything else sort of the same story I just want to show you guys how I like to do it with if I get pictures from Google and if I just do it myself so this is it and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you learned something appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see y'all peace